I'm Darren Marlar from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Scientists say that a mysterious sound is being picked up over the Canadian Arctic. You know, my guess is it's the Arctic researchers' teeth chattering. Well, it's that time of year again. Time to warn you that going to the bathroom at halftime during the Super Bowl could be dangerous to the health of your plumbing and your city's waste system. It's called the halftime flush, and according to legend, some 100 million of us will be flushing during the Super Bowl halftime show. And that means some big problems for our pipes. Only the story isn't really true. While millions will take a break and probably head for the bathroom at halftime, not all of us were going to be doing our business at the exact same time. Yep, this story deserves to be swirling around the bowl. An 82-year-old man in a small town in Germany finally found the wedding ring he lost three years ago in his own vegetable garden with a carrot growing through it. Making it even more special, the great find happened just after what would have been his 50th wedding anniversary. Sadly, his wife died six months earlier but had always told him that the ring would eventually turn up. The couple's names were not released, but it turns out that, yep, his wife was right. Either that or this man's garden was proposing matrimony. Masaya Nakamura, the inventor of Pac-Man, has died at the age of 91. Now, I'm imagining him you know, becoming a ghost and being trapped in his game for all time. The British Medical Association has asked its 160,000 members who work in hospitals and general practice across the country not to call pregnant women mothers to show sensitivity towards transgender people. And that is the insanity that we're living in in 2017. Fitbit says it'll cut 110 jobs because of falling profits. That's right, our laziness is now causing unemployment. The UK grocery chain showed off a new robot with hands soft enough to safely bag groceries. Even better, it doesn't judge you for the donuts and National Enquirer. A New Zealand bride was left devastated and humiliated after her husband-to-be abandoned her the night before their wedding. The jilted bride, Vanessa, said her fiancé left the resort the night before the $40,000 wedding without telling anyone and didn't return. Despite her own grief, she went ahead with the wedding party. Vanessa's now focused on getting her life back on track. She is selling her pink diamond engagement ring valued at more than $38,000 as well as her $6,000 wedding dress. She had the party anyway. Guys, this is a girl you marry before somebody else does. Her fiancé is the loser in this story. What would you do if you were left at the altar? Would you continue with the reception party anyway? Would you take the prepaid honeymoon trip by yourself? Would you hire a professional killer to track down your fiancé? Let me know in the comments below. You can watch the YouTube version of the Daily Dose of Weird News and also get more weird news at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. If you like what you just heard, please give this video a thumbs up and share the episode with others on your own social media to help spread the weirdness. Become a part of the Weirdo family by clicking that subscribe button. And be sure to also click that little bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. For Marlar House and DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar. <laughs>